The warrior is uh, it's probably one of the most versatile units that uh, we've got on the table in front of us. It's, Certainly, um, it's got a, a variety of roles, um, and again, like you said, all off of one sprue. Yep. <laughs> so you've got one sprue for each yep. tank, and uh, it can basically have I think up to five roles essentially. Yeah. Two main build options. Yeah. You know, which is armored. Well, more heavily armoured <laughs> yeah. and less heavily armoured. <laughs> so um, yeah, you get your standard warrior and then you've yeah. got your up-armoured um, warrior transport. So it's very similar to the Challenger Romor armour yeah. um, in as much as it's an era armour, uh, uh, an explosive reactive armour. Yeah. Um, it does have a slight difference in terms of the armour value, yeah. again, on it. So it's actually, unlike the Challenger, this is better armoured in the front. Yeah. Um, than the side increase. It gets more of a gain for the front armour. Yeah, basically yeah. it's two points up and then the side armour is just one point up. Yeah. But the idea is that it gives you a little bit more versatility, a little yeah. bit more survivability, and means that you can actually have different units as and when you want. I guess that's because this is something that is heading more towards the fray. Yeah, so attack. it's an armoured fighting vehicle. The yeah. idea is it is fighting. It's, it's not going to be... Against the front. Yeah, yeah, as the idea is. So for the, yeah. the different build options you have, so you do have your warrior mechanised platoon. Yeah. So this is the main option a lot of people are going to take is the mechanised platoon on this. Mm -hmm. um, you get your standard sort of troop take up, which is very similar to the FV 432s, mm -hmm. which is the old APC version we had in the Iron Maiden, which is still in this book. Yeah. Slightly cheaper, not as good armour. Yeah, nothing has become obsolete. Absolutely nothing, no. We've kept everything and just yeah. actually added to it. Um, <laughs> put more pages in the book. But this is your main build option. This is what a lot of people will go with. So for this one, for example, you'd need two boxes of five, because there's five in a box set. Okay. Um, and that would be enough for... Um, Two mechanized platoons of four warriors each, and mm -hmm. then your HQ, which is just slightly over the page here, and that has uh, its own warrior with the uh, self-loading rifle team in there as well as yeah. the HQ. But then you also get, and it's out the same box, but you actually get different options for sections as opposed to platoons. Mm -hmm. So these are warriors that have got a specific role. Yeah. So the first one is the dedicated Milan team, and this is basically a Milan section that's on the sprue that just fits on top of the turret, yeah. and he charges around and fires his Milan missile as an <laughs> anti-tank tank, basically, yeah. uh, or an APC. The other one that you've got here is a Milan team that is troops and infantry that go into the warrior, mm -hmm. jump out with the Milan, fire, jump back into the Milan, and yes. try and carry on moving. Right, okay. Um, so they're basically the ones that are essentially snipers on the board against other tanks. So like disengage, just get set up. Essentially, yeah. yeah. And they can go on their own, or you can actually have Milan teams within um, the warrior mechanized platoon as well. So you've got all them different options for them. So it's very versatile. There's a lot going yeah, on. Yeah, a lot with this just, just <clears throat> this one kit. Also in the book, it's got the explanation there on the different versions. You've got the yeah, standard and the up armored and the different stat lines for it as well. So at the top here, you've got the standard. At the bottom, you've got the up armored. Yeah. Well, let's, um, let's go one better than the book's picture. Yeah, well, let's let's have a quick look at the uh, the picture, <laughs> uh, the, the the tank itself. So this um, is the this is the up armored. This is the up armored version. Yeah. yeah. So on the side here, you can see that um, ERA armor, the applique on the side, mm -hmm. um, and the extra chunk on the front. Uh, like all of our kits, it's got the turret peg in there as well that you can just put in, or you can use magnets. Um, and unlike the FV432s from Iron Maiden, um, and that are also in this book, this has actually got its own dedicated yeah. cannon on it as well. Right. Uh, so that <laughs> cannon is a, a, a radar, uh, radon, radon gun. Radon, radon. Yeah, yeah radon gun. There you go. Get it right. Was that? Was, did I get the right pronunciation? I think you got it right. Yeah, I know it's a thirty millimeter. Does that Dumb count? Look. <laughs> thirty millimeter radon gun. Um, and basically, yeah. that is good against uh, other infantry. Uh, armoured vehicles, things like that. It's just a bit of self-protection. It's not really designed to be used Anti against tanks. Anti-helicopter and sneak and peek. Yep, so on this one, it basically means that the gun itself can be elevated yeah. to such a position that if any helicopters come in, it's anti-aircraft role slightly. It's not a dedicated anti-aircraft, but it has that role. And the sneak and peek means it can move and shoot. Yeah. And that's, so it just so it's moves not, in and then comes yeah, straight back out again. It's not a great anti-tank, is it, with 10 and 2, but the Milan missile, that's 21. Yeah, and the Milan missiles yeah. are the ones that are the killer uh, for the British. They're the yeah. ones that they use to deadly effect <clears throat> right. um, against other options and things. And if we obviously flip back to the challengers, then you can see on them they've got a very good anti-tank rating on the 120 mil gun. Yeah. They are dedicated for anti-tank. That's what a main battle tank does. Yeah. Kills the enemy tanks and then goes in against infantry and things like that. Fair enough. So again, another really versatile kit. Something I'm definitely going to have to pick up for my army. Yeah. Just because of how nice they look. Boxes of five? Five again for mm. these, yep. Yeah. So you get yeah. five in the box and they are ready to uh, obviously just get out and start building into your formation as you need. strikes me as very much a must-have. 
They look really cool. They do look really, really nice. Like I mean, them. I know I don't think they, it really gives it justice even on the cameras, but just no. looking at it here on the table, it does look really nice. No. It definitely does. That's awesome. Cool. So that is your warrior. However, there's so many different <laughs> options for it. Your warrior of sorts. Yep. <laughs> awesome.